let's see this question. We have a equals to this, and then if a contains exactly one positive integer n, then we need to find the value of n. Okay. So so let's consider whole this a equals to n. So and then uh, first step is what I will do is I will multiply numerator and denominator by its conjugate means here 7 plus 3i cos theta numerator and denominator okay so 1967 plus 1686 i sin theta upon 7 minus 3i cos theta plus 7 plus 3i cos theta upon 7 plus 3i cos theta. Okay. So now here a minus b into a plus b is same as a square minus b square. So I can write here 7 7 is a 49. Here i square will come over here. So i square i square is minus 1 minus minus plus 3 is a 9. i has gone. Here we have cos square. Okay. Now we have this into this. Okay. So let's say this is n. Okay. And then first of all, let's compare real part and imaginary parts. So let's find out first imaginary parts. Okay. So for imaginary parts, what we have is this. Okay, here 1967. Here I we have into 3 cos theta, and then plus here we'll get 7 into 1686 sine of theta so is equals to here this is real part over, over here okay. for imaginary part we will have equals to 0 okay so this equals to so i'll send minus over here this equals to minus this so here all this all this i will send down okay so here 1967 into uh, 3 upon upon here i'll send minus over here minus here 7 into 1686 is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. Here we have sin theta upon cos theta is equal to tan theta. Okay, here we have minus. Okay, so if you cancel this, this equals to here this implies minus half equals to tan theta. Here this say this is triangle over here, right angle over here. My, forget about minus. So here tan is here one up. Here we have one. Here 2, okay. This upon this is 10 theta. So for this side, so square root of 2 to 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So similarly, we can find sin theta, cos theta, whatever we have, okay. Similarly, we can find, say, for example, so we can find sin of theta or you can say cos theta, okay. So cos of theta equals to here 2 upon root 5 as well as sin of theta equals to. 1 upon root 5. Okay. So we have this. Now, if if we compare real part, okay. If we compare real part, then in denominator we have this. Okay. So in numerator, what we have is real part is 1967 into 7. Okay. And then here this into this, okay. Here i square is minus 1, okay. Here minus 1686 into 3, and then here we have into sine of theta cos theta upon 49, okay. Here 49 plus 9, here cos square theta. Okay, if I divided 2 over here, this into this is this. So here I can write 2 into this whole term is 2 into sin theta cos theta is 2 sin theta. Okay, so I can write here uh, 3 into 8 4 3 into sin of 2 theta upon 49 plus 9. So since we have cos theta over here, therefore cos square is cos square if i squaring one side 2 to the 4 4 upon 5 okay here 4 upon 5 is my cos square theta 
here we have 1967 into 7 so we need to sign 2 of theta okay what is sine 2 theta sine of 2 theta in terms of 10 because 10 we have okay 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta okay so is equal to what is 2 10 theta 2 10 theta is here 2 into half minus half 1 plus 1 by 2 to the 4 okay so if i cancel this gets cancelled here we have minus 1 upon here 4 5 5 by 4 4 we have this okay so instead of sine 2 theta we can write here 1967 into 7 minus here minus minus plus 3 into 4 15 to 4 5 into 843 upon 49 plus 9 into 4 upon 5 okay so if you solve this okay if you solve this you will get 281 okay so i am giving you as an assignment so you will get 281 okay that is the our n okay that is our n thank you